Hey, this is Passy from Passy's World of ICT, the guy with the white hat. And this is uh, just a quick lesson about Groupbox and its border color because an interesting thing uh, happens in Visual Basic.net where uh, there is no border color for the Groupbox. And we'll show you what we mean uh, when this happens. Let's get it going here. Come on, go. All right, so. Our problem with projects that our students have had and pointed out to us is that, you know, when you have a group box, the line border defaults to some specific color and there's no property on that item to actually change border color. So what will happen is if you're doing a screen like this for um, cricket stars or something like that, and for Australia, it's these green and yellow colors. So we really want that uh, group box border to be green. I don't know whether you can even see it there. It's a really light gray at the moment. And when you go over to the, click on the group box and go to the properties in VBNet, there isn't actually a border color property to change, which is kind of really strange, but that just seems to be the way VBNet is. Now, after quite a bit of Googling, and checking things out, we did eventually find in Stack Overflow um, about how you can actually make your own custom group box and get it into the normal Visual Basic toolbox. And you do all of this by creating a thing called a class. Okay, so to create a class, we need to have our project open and then in the Solution Explorer part, um, which is usually up the top right hand corner of your screen, if you right click on the name of your project, the one at the top, and then go to add and then after that go to class and click on class and what will happen then is that uh, the class will come up and you need to just pick normal class don't pick com class that's another common problem is that people pick com class and that doesn't work you just need this other one that's just c-l-a-s-s -S up here and we're going to call it my group box i don't know if you can read that but it's my group box dot vb for its name and we just click the add button there and what we can do then is uh, we need to uh, do some coding. So it'll open up something called mygroupbox.vb. It'll open up the class when we make it there with the panel. And it'll just have public class mygroupbox and an M class. And we need to put all of this code in. Now we found this code on Stack Overflow, but it didn't actually work. I don't know whether that was because uh, we're using Visual Basic Community 2017, uh, but it didn't sort of work. And we had to make a couple of small changes and I don't even remember what they were now. It was a case of just uh, messing around with it and having a hack until the thing actually worked. And it is working now. And with this code, you can change the border color in here that's gonna be for your customized group box. So you can set it to forest green, for example, the color that we want. Okay, so we put that in there. We do a save all on our project. And then we actually have to click the green arrow and run our project to make the code that was in that class actually run. And then we will have our own custom group box called my group box, which is very exciting. So we uh, just click a start on our program here. And what will happen is that after it runs and just stop it. And then after it runs, you will have up the top of your toolbox, you'll have uh, my group box here, which you can use. OK, but you've got to run the project first to get that. All right. So what we can do is we can just delete that gray group box off the form and then we drag out the my group box and put that on the form. And then when you run it, oh, when you put it on, by the way, what will happen is it'll probably go over the top of these labels and text boxes. But if you just right click on the group box and send it to the back, uh, then it'll look good like this. And when you run your program, yay, we've got a green group box all around there. So it matches in with the color scheme and we can actually see the group box. So that's really good. We've got that green borderline around the box. All right, now we're going to modify our group box just a little bit further. So it actually does have a border color property and the properties for the my group box customized one we've made. So we'll just leave this code in here that does the default color because it's going to get overridden by what we put down in here anyway as a new code. So this is a new code we add in and you have to have public property. We're trying to add a property here uh, called border color. And we just use that code there. Now, again, this was from Stack Overflow and did not work originally. 
and uh, we got it working kind of accidentally because we used the Australian spelling or the British British spelling of colour, C-O-L-O-U-R in here, and then it suddenly worked. So it's really weird. It, we had to call it border colour, spelt exactly like that, brackets, because if we tried calling it border colour of American colour or borderline colour or custom border colour, any other name, um, VBNet gave this error that... Um, the, the, a fatal syntax error that that name was not part of the properties for your group box, but somehow it did accept border color spelt the English way. So that was kind of the miracle that got that working. We're stuck on that for quite a while trying to fix the Stack Overflow code and get it to work. And we we're so happy when we did. So if you run the program to generate the class again, um, what will happen is if you click onto your group box here, <coughs> excuse me, on the form, so it's actually activated, and go over and check out its properties for my group box run, your customized one, it will now have a border color property. Yay! And you can click in that property and use the sort of arrow here to bring up a whole bunch of different colors. So you can like pick a red color on here on the color picker and then run it again and this group box will change to red. So you've actually got full functionality on the group box of having a border color. Now, why this does not come standard like this with VBNet, I've got no idea because, you know, all the other things you've got um, have background colors, border colors, four colors for the fonts. Uh, you know, why wasn't there any kind of borderline color put onto a group box? But what was really um, cool learning in this lesson was really interesting was we could actually set up a class and make our own tool which was like really fantastic, a really fantastic thing. Now that code for making the tool, don't ask me what every single line does because I don't know. It's a bit like, you know, a carpenter can use an electric drill and has to realize of electric motors, you know, if you run them too hard for too long, they'll heat up and you can burn out the coils that the drill will burn out. But they don't have to know about electricity and magnets and how the electric motor and everything works, right? So we're just kind of using this class stuff, which we got off, um, Stack Overflow, but we had to fix it up to get it working. And we don't have to fully understand it, right? We got the code working, it's there, and it's all good. So don't stress if you don't understand every single line of code that you put into a program. Sometimes you just have to be a scavenger and grab old scrap bits of wood to build something out of just like a carpenter would do. So you grab scrap bits of programming. Now, speaking of scrap bits of programming and lots of programs, over on our website, uh, we do have passiveworldofict.com and if you click on the programming button it'll take you to the many vbnet programming lessons we've done so if there's other things that you're interested in or need to know for the course you're doing at high school or wherever if you're a teacher who needs to learn about uh, vb.net uh yeah there's heaps of lessons here and we're trying to add one uh every weekend okay so make sure you uh check that out and subscribe to the youtube channel uh, because then you won't miss out on any of our updates. Speaking of which, there we go. So this was just a quick lesson, just how to get around that annoying problem of uh, not being able to get a custom color on your group box borderline. So that is all fixed um, through a little bit of uh, kind of hard work and perseverance on our part. But the main miracle was performed by Stack Overflow having kind of the basics of uh, the code that we needed to do that. So yeah, we're gonna put out another video. I think the next one's gonna be another little short one too, just about how you can copy um, forms from one project over to another without having to remake the whole form. And a thing about how you can set up which form will run first in your program, okay, if you need to do that, because that's another little kind of thing you might need to do on projects just like this group box color. So subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on that update. And we will see you in the next lesson. Enjoy programming with visualbasic.net.